Yo, if you aren't using sounds from Excellent Sound, you are sleeping. Today, we're gonna check out Gorilla. Okay, I had the chance to hang with the homies over at Excellent Sound at their studio in Hollywood and got a sneak peek of their upcoming release, Gorilla, a multi-genre sound pack that has something for everyone. This thing has 200 serum presets, over 600 drum loops and samples, melodic loops already dialed with the BPM and key, one shots ready to drop into any sampler, effect layers perfect for transitions, and a ton more. If you get in during the pre-sale, you get a ton of extra bonus content, including Ableton project remakes of the best Skrillex songs out there, perfect for understanding song structure, sound placement, and these things are polished. I mean, they sound like the actual songs. The bonus content also includes the redacted sound pack that was super exclusive and came out years ago. Only a few people got their hands on it, so it's basically like you're getting two packs in one. But hurry, because there's only 1,000 pre-sale licenses. If you don't know, I make music for movie trailers. I've landed some dope ones such as Free Guy, Disney's Soul, Marvel's Hawkeye, and more, so before I dive into the track I made, let's just check out some of these sounds. All right, I know a lot of the excellent crew are Ableton users, but I'm a Logic user, so I'm just gonna go through the pack. We're gonna check out some Serum presets, and then we're gonna break this track down. Let's start with the drums. So they're all broken down, 808s, claps, loops, fills. It's, it's so easy. So, claps, look how many there are. There's, there's so many. You have cymbals, check out some loops. Let's go to, let's go to full loops. And look how, look how they're labeled, BPM, the type, the genre, that makes it so easy. These are just drag and drop ready, and I love, I love that. Let's check out some build loops. You know what I'm saying? You gotta check out percussion. And I'm just clicking on random ones here. There's no rhyme or rhythm to this. So let's just keep going. Obviously, you know, there's fills. The fills are some of my favorite, honestly. I love the fills. So you kind of get the point here. There's a lot of... I'm not going to go through all of them because there's so many. There's a lot of drums here. There's a lot of loops. I love that. Let's head over to the effects section. Ambiance. You know, these are great for layering in, throwing some side chaining on them and doing some cool things just to maybe have an intro or a break. There's so much you could do here. All right, let's keep going. There's atmospheres, impacts. Yo, let's go. That's right up my alley. Reverse vocals. Who's looking for transitions? Sweeps, risers.
These are my favorite, these super long risers. All right, let's get out of there. Let's see what else we got. Let's go to melodic loops. Play something major. Vocal chops. What? You just drop that in and make a track. Jeez. Then you get to one shots. I love these. I use them in this track specifically. Uh, right before a drop comes in, I like to use these. Again, I'm not going to go through all of them because there's so many, but just so you can hear the quality of them. What planet are y'all on? Organic one shots. Bra I use that brass stab, you'll hear it. So cool. And vocals. So rad. One shots. So you could drop these in a sampler and make your own vocal chop. Literally all there for you. And there's also the early access bonus content. So again, this is stuff that you're going to get if you signed up to the pre-release. In here, you have Ableton project files, more serum presets, and the redacted pack. So this, again, it's like a whole nother sound pack inside this one. And there's only a thousand licenses for it. So if you get in early, you get all this additional stuff. So it's pretty, pretty similar layout to what we just looked at as far as the navigation goes. Cool fills, percussion, snaps. all there it's all separated i love that let's go back let's go to loops check out some hi-hat loops so much work and effort into these you know with the panning and the different sounds and the mix they're just literally ready to go You're going to catch me using that one for sure. It's just so, there's so much. I don't even know where to begin here. It's so awesome. You know, the inspiration you can generate from these loops or... Just, I'm, I'm speechless over here. There's build up. Clap builds. All right. So now let's check out some of these serum presets. I already have serum loaded up here. I'm just going to play a couple notes. So these are the presets included. So you can have an idea of how many. 
It's a lot. A lot of cool bass stuff. That's the type of genre you're creating. Let's check out some growls. Right? So there's also other presets that aren't super electronic, which is cool, like these chords. Keyboard's way up here, but. That's dope. And let's scroll down to some of the leads. Oh, there's, there's instruments as well, some plucks. I gotta go back, I remember hearing the flute. And I'm not even going to get to the bonus ones because there's so much synths, plucks, leads. You don't even have to adjust them. You just go. There's subs in here. Be better if I was on low latency mode. Oh, we heard that one in their demo. Sub drops. So a ton of serum presets, and this is just some of the sounds. You really got to dig in and listen to all of it because there is so much in this pack. Did I mention they're having a giveaway? I'm talking about Complete 14 and S49, Yamaha speakers, Audio-Technica headphones, and a $500 gift card to anyone who purchases a pre-release copy. So here we are in my session for the track that you heard earlier in the video. I'm gonna break this down by section. So intro, act two, break, and then the back end. One thing I wanna point out here is everything in this session is from the sound pack, Gorilla, other than these top 10 sounds. These are my trailer drums and I just use them to make things a little bigger for trailers. So I kind of have my stuff dialed there, but everything else, I left all the names of all the patches and loops. These are all from the sound pack. So what you're hearing is a good representation of what I would create with this sound pack. And being that it's multi-genre, you can really make anything. It's just super modern and the sounds are just so dialed. I mean, I didn't even do much EQing. I just dropped them in because they sound so good. So let's just play this track back and then I'll break it down.
All right. So that is the track. The goal here was to create something that was super high energy and fast pace. That's kind of electronic, but also trap hip hop oriented. It would be great for a sci-fi or something like Bad Boys 4, just really high action. A lot of things are happening. And, you know, one thing I really liked about some of these sounds was I found something that was a signature. It was a signature sound that I could use throughout the track. And you remember that tone. And that's what's up top. So let's start with breaking down the intro here. So that signature sound, this is it right here. And this is just a serum, serum patch that they made. And all I did was add a little distortion, compression, and I did some EQing up top to filter off the top end just so it's not so abrupt right in the beginning. But I didn't do anything. I just played the sound. All it's doing is playing octaves here of D, the root note. So that plays. The other main sound, which is actually the melody throughout the whole track, is this other serum patch called electric guitar or elect guitar. So that's the melody stretched out over eight bars. Later on in the track, you hear it double the speed. But playing it like that up top just kind of gave you something to recognize later on in the track. So that's playing. I have a couple atmospheres. And again, these are just straight from the pack. All I did was find them. This was an E, so I just lowered it to semitones. some cool motion and movement. And then I added this one. You know, kind of gives you like some creepy what's happening vibe. So that was, re that was really cool. And then a uh, riser. And this pretty much took care of the whole intro. And this riser is cool because it was already in D. All I had to do is stretch it to 150. It was at 140. And uh, that movement was just really cool. So that's happening. At the bottom, you'll hear uh, some impacts that are just low pass filtered. Just kind of create some intensity. And then the only other sound is this little screech. And I bounced it with reverb and reversed it. So that way it kind of goes into it. So you're expecting it. And that's all that's happening in the intro. So it's very simple, but it feels so full because these loops are just literally ready to go. So let's just play some of that back. Right? So then we get to this little dropout here that happens. which is really cool. So the elect guitar serum preset just pings on a downbeat. Same with this screech. And that's it here. When we get to the next bar, I have this really cool drum fill I found. And that's that's handling a lot of it. You know, I have an impact. The growl is also playing. But I'm gonna leave that out for a second. I found some cool little glitch effects and a vocal. So you hear all that together. Plus, I do have my drums just hitting on the downbeat. Here it is all together. Which takes us to the next part here. This, again, I just found a cool trap drum loop. Right, added a little percussion. As I said earlier, the melody is playing double the speed. So this part would be really good for dialogue. It's not too busy. It's kind of just a section that lets the viewer know something's about to happen, but we're not quite there yet. So that plus some risers.
All right, let's talk about that part. Another cool loop I found. This was actually part of a bigger build, but I just left it short. Just cool coming out of nowhere. It makes great, they call it editor candy. It's something for an editor just to hear and be like, oh, cool, I could put some fast action in that section. So I like to do these little breaks and dropouts to give them something to work with. That plus my trailer drums. And then here we got another vocal. Then a riser and a impact. Takes us to the next section. Now this is the part where things in the trailer are starting to move a little faster. It's the same as the part before. This is the second act, but I have a couple additional elements. For instance, got an 808. Really simple, just doing a little slide down there. And that with the drums. So I bring in this hi-hat loop that's really cool. Again, just dropped it in. One new element is this serum patch. Kind of sounds like a uh, dolphin or seal. But what's interesting is it's actually on the upbeats. So it just kind of gives it a little bit of movement in there. And then I also have a brass stab. And that together. And we get to another edit point. And here, kind of have that same seal sound. But it's a different preset. It's called Jungle Sign. And this one's cool because it actually pitches down. So I like that. I layered that in with a snare loop. And you can see this is just coming out of a high pass filter with some reverb on it. That plus a downer. All right. And a riser. which takes us into the next part of act two. Same as the part before, but we just start adding more layers. The drums start to get a little bit bigger. And here we have a new sound here. Let's just play it back. So here we have this new serum preset. Didn't have to do anything to it. It was great right out the box. All I did was add a little distortion and cut off some low end. This without distortion. I already had that vibe. I just wanted a little bit more. And you'll notice I have these little kind of fills. They call them bass fills. And I love these because they're great to just give a little moment right there when you need it right before another downbeat. So these are... And then here, you know, all I did was transpose them to the key that I needed them to be in. And I need, other than that, nothing else is happening here. Just bigger drums. Let's play it. So there, what I do is I cut everything out. The only thing that happens is this trailer drum on the downbeat and the growl that you heard earlier just cuts right there. So here we do this cool triplet fill. Again, risers happen. I have things start to loop like the brass. I also reverse this brass. So that's kind of cool. I bring back the screech from the intro. You'll notice everything just starts doing this triplet. Same with all the drums. Let's solo all the drums.
Triplets are great in trailers. We all love them. Bass is just hitting quarter notes. That takes us into the next section. We're getting to the break here. So this part's really cool because the drum pattern actually came from one of their loops, Big Tom Phil. I think this is in the redacted pack. So I just took that and layered my drums with it. Brought in a loop. See, it's just filtering in. So that's the drum section for this break. The main thing you're hearing is this arpeggiator. On this, all I did was turn up the filter knob and serum and overdrive from WoW 2, which kind of gives it that distortion feel. This arpeggiator was so dope, I had to use it. I wanted to have a little sci-fi breakdown here. So that was that. And then I also have another serum patch, which I kind of turned into a bass pluck. And what's interesting about this sound is I'm opening up the cutoff, but I'm also changing this node on the LFO. I liked how this sound when I would move this up and down. So I mapped this to the mod wheel because it was changing so many parameters when I moved it, it just sounded really cool. So. And that's that. The only other sound in this part Another dope serum patch. This is just opening the cutoff. Looks like over two bars here, another two and then over four. So all those together. Very cool. Here we just have a ping. Sounds from earlier, plus I layered in another serum patch just to give it a little oomph. And this is actually from the intro. It's the Daybreak drone. Just wanted to bring that, that feeling back that we heard earlier. That plus a riser. And then the drums are just going wild. So then we hit our break here, just a sub drop and an impact, nothing crazy. And we get to the back end, which is my favorite part. This is a really unique part for editors because there's a lot of changes happening, but there's also repetition that you hear from the beginning. So let's start with the main sound, the signature sound that we all know and have heard throughout the track. So that plays every other bar with an 808. And a brass stab. Behind that, I have this snare build and stops. Right? Paired with that, risers that cut off. Super cool. Just build in excitement and then the drums that are just doing hits. Right? In between those sections, I have a sub drop. And then one thing I did is I actually bounced these two sounds in place. This is the elect guitar and the sound that I layered in. And I added distortion and reverb to them just to kind of create an alarm ping. All right, so let's play that back. All 
So here we're just looping. Things are getting bigger. Drums are getting bigger. Snares moving faster. The risers are getting bigger. And that plays until we get to the very end where we go back to triplets again. You can see I cut up all these risers to do that. And the brass is playing quarter notes. And, and that's it. Let's just play the back end back. And hit them with the same sound at the end, filter it out, and that's the track. And that's Gorilla, the latest release from Excellent Sound. If you haven't signed up already to the pre-release, what are you waiting on? This pack is 75 bones, and for what you get, it's worth far more. If you're watching this after pre-release, head over to the link below and check it out. To top it off, Excellent Sound and I have teamed up to include a sound pack of your choice for anyone who signs up to my upcoming music course, Full-Time Music Creator. I love the sounds these guys create. I use them in all my productions. So to have the ability to share them with you is truly amazing. Hit me with a like or a sub for the algorithm and stay tuned for more content coming out soon. We out.